So this is our sculpture. It's a kinetic sculpture. It's called Sky Quest, and it's done by an artist named David C. Roy. And while you sit and watch this for a while, I'm just going to tell the story of how we got it. And the first time I saw one of David Roy's sculptures was at a friend's house when we were living in Wisconsin. She had what looked like a big wooden flower hanging over the fireplace in their living room. And I was like, what is that? And she's like, oh, watch this. And she winds it up a couple of times and it starts to move in this regular, almost kaleidoscopy kind of way. And it was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. She told me that they'd gotten it a few years back when they lived out east. So I looked it up on the internet and I that's where I first became acquainted with David C. Roy and his uh, shop, Our Wood That Works. And I loved all of his sculptures, everything about them. They were natural wood, which I loved. They were quirky and interesting, which I loved, and they moved. They were just cool. And so fast forward about five, six years later, and we had moved to upstate New York, and you know he was still in my peripheral radar, but one day we were planning a trip to Hartford, Connecticut, and I remembered he lived somewhere around there, so I looked him up again, and I realized that we were going to be staying about 30 minutes from his studio. So I contacted him and asked if we could come visit, and he said, sure, and and that's where we that's where we first got to see his art in action again. Um, so David and Margie Roy are both artists, and they live in this idyllic little area in the woods. This little house that was just surrounded. We went there in the fall, and it was just surrounded by these exploding fall colors when we arrived. It just and it was just gorgeous. And David ushered us into his studio. He's just the nicest guy. Just really cheerful and pleasant, and you know, laid back in a way that. I guess is how you are when you spend large swaths of your time every day staring at this kind of, you know, restful, easy-moving kinetic sculptures. Um, his upstairs in his studio was sort of like a living area with couches, and he had sculptures on every wall, and he showed us how they worked and told us the stories behind them and showed us some of his older pieces that he'd worked on and learned from, and and, and I was hooked. And after we left, we went home and decided that, yeah, we wanted to... To, to maybe order one. Um, the thing that kind of kept me from moving forward in the past and getting one of these was that these sculptures were just so intricate and I thought there is no way that I could ever install one even if we did get one. They're just complicated and precise and one wrong move and I'd, I'd wreck it before it even made it onto the wall. <laughs> However, it turns out that you know David Roy makes these sculptures and he makes them really easy to put up. This one came in just two pieces with a template. So you tape the template to the wall, and then you see where you're supposed to drill the holes to anchor to the wall. And then once those are up, you just screw to the wall with four screws. And then you slide on the birdie swirly part and, and cap it with a little wooden circle and wind it up a few times and let it go, and that's it. It was so easy. Um, I think it took me like an hour to put it up. And of that hour, I'd say I spent about half an hour of that running around the house trying to get the ladder and finding some tape and getting the electric screwdriver charged up and you know finding the right shoes to wear so I didn't kill myself going up the ladder and then maybe another 20 minutes just measuring the wall trying to you know center the template the actual attaching it to the wall and putting it together probably took like 10 minutes or less and we put it up and it worked and it was so awesome and I it is like I love it. It is so fun to watch and so far I've just been known to just sit there and just wind it up and watch it go. So that's our sculpture.